Today we're going to learn about types of chemical reactions. So there are five types of chemical reactions we're going to talk about, and today we're going to go over all those. What happens when things combine, specifically elements? So we're going to put reactions into different categories, and so in each one of these there will be reactants and products. So for the first type, if we look a synthesis is a type of reaction which two or more substances, and that's important, we're saying two or more substances, combine to form only one compound. You can recognize a synthesis reaction because two or more reactants form only one product. So if you just look for one product, that's a synthesis reaction. So two different things form one thing. Uh, three examples of that. If we have sodium and chlorine combine to form sodium chloride, or hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water, or water and sulfur trioxide formed, uh, combine to form sulfuric acid. That's it. Those are all examples of synthesis reactions. So that's the first type. Uh, now here's more example of synthesis is when you combine magnesium with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Remember, oxygen is diatomic, so it's going to be O2. So a synthesis is a type of reaction which two or more substances could substances combined to form only one compound. So the next or the opposite of that the second type would be decomposition. In a decomposition one compound and that's a key one compound breaks down and forms two or more substances. So the key here you're looking for is that you're going to have one substance. So you're going to have uh, the one compound breaks and forms two or more substances. You can recognize the decomposition reaction because one reactant forms multiple products. So once again, the key product there is that you have one reactant. So you have one reactant. Um, a decomposition is a reverse of synthesis. We have three examples of that. We have calcium carbonate breaking down to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. That's an example of a, synth of a decomposition reaction. Water breaking down, which is the opposite of what we saw before, water breaking down to form hydrogen gas and oxygen, oxygen gas. And then our last example is potassium chlorate breaking down to form potassium chloride and oxygen. So those are all examples of decomposition reactions. Let's keep going. We have five types. Type number three. Now here's another example of a decomposition reaction. Remember, we said a decomposition is when you have one compound breaking down. So if you notice right here we have hydrogen peroxide, that is one compound, and so that is definitely a decomposition reaction. It breaks down from water and oxygen. Next type. Next type of, is called replacement or single replacement or single displacement. So in a replacement reaction, atom or group of atoms replaces part of another compound. Two types of replacements can, can occur. We have single replacement and double replacement. We'll, each cons we'll consider these different categories. The single replacement or single displacement and double replacement or double displacement. Those are both terms we use for that. Let's begin. Let's, let's begin with the single replacement or single displacement. In a single uh, replacement reaction, one element replaces an element in a compound. This and this, an element and a compound react to form an element and a compound. So basically, the nice visual you have here is there's two different things shown here that would represent a compound. And then here we have one thing shown that would represent an element. So we see the triangle replaces a square, and so that would be an element replacing an element. And then on the other side, we have a compound an element. This is a single replacement or single displacement reaction. An example of that, if you add iron and copper sulfate, the products are iron sulfate and copper. The iron displaced or replaced the copper, and now the copper is by itself. Another example of that is zinc plus hydrochloric acid. The zinc, which is positive, is, is neutral by itself, but in a compound it's positive, is displacing the positive hydrogen the hydrogen goes by itself. Now hydrogen is H2 by itself because it's diatomic. And then the zinc is now with the chlorine. Now you write the formula correctly as you always would. Zinc is plus two, chlorine is minus one, so that'd be Z and Zl2 for the formula of zinc chloride. So that is an example of a single replacement or single displacement reaction. Now here's another example. If we take 
a copper and mix it with silver nitrate. The copper is the element. It will replace the silver, which is also an element. And the products are silver, are silver by itself as an element and copper nitrate. So this is another example of a single displacement or a single replacement. In this one, the, the, what we want to watch for is we see one element replaces another element in a compound. That's a single replacement. So you have element, compound, element, compound. Let's go to the next type. The next type is double displacement. And in double displacement, you have compound, 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 compound. In this, two negative ions basically switch places. And you form two new compounds. So notice there are compounds all the way across. So here we, we see an example, sodium chloride plus silver nitrate. The chloride and the nitrate are both negative. They switch places. So the chloride is now with the silver. The nitrate is now with the sodium. Now, in writing the formulas, you have to look at the charges. Here, everything is plus and minus 1, so those are just the same. Let's look at the next one. We have HCl. H is positive. Cl is negative. Then we have iron 2 sulfide. Iron is plus 2. Sulfur is minus 2. So on the other side, we see the iron, which is plus 2, needs two chlorines to balance that out. And then the hydrogen, which is plus 2, we need two hydrogens to balance out the negative 2 of the sulfur. Notice this reaction is not balanced. To balance this, we need to put a 2 in front of the HCl. So this is an example of a double displacement reaction. Let's see another example. This is an example of a double displacement reaction. And these are often what we call precipitation reactions. Lead 2 nitrate, and there actually should be a Roman numeral 2 in this name right here. Lead Roman numeral 2 nitrate uh, reacts with potassium iodide. And the products are potassium nitrate, and there should also be a Roman numeral here produces lead to iodide. In a double displacement reaction, the, the negative ions, so the negative ions in two compounds switch places. And in this, you have two new compounds. This type of reaction, you have two new compounds. So this is a double displacement reaction. And the last type of reaction, the fifth type, is the one we all enjoy. It's called a combustion reaction. In a combustion reaction, a a substance, com a substance combines with oxygen and releases energy. So let's highlight that because that's important. It combines with oxygen and releases energy. So let's add that part to it as well. Sorry. Releases energy. So that is a combustion reaction. A combustion reaction usually releases energy as thermal or light energy. Any burning reaction is a common combustion reaction. These reactions always produce, if they're burning a hydrocarbon, carbon dioxide and water. So that's important. Let's, let's highlight that. They produce carbon dioxide and they produce water. So an example here, we see propane. Propane is often used in gas grills. Combines with oxygen, which we write diatomic. Propane's formula is C3H8. And the products of that reaction are carbon dioxide and water. So that is an example of a combustion reaction. The last slides here, here's another example of combustion reaction. And the, all, all the things on the bullet points are what we've already mentioned. Uh, is a combustion of butane. Butane is often put in lighters. And butane is C4H10. You see here it still combines with oxygen, which is diatomic. And it produces carbon dioxide and water. So that's an example of our fifth type of reaction, a combustion reaction.